Hello, how are you doing? You get that feeling like you're on a bit of a roller coaster, like one minute you're absolutely fine. In fact, you feel guilty for almost loving it. Mm -hmm. And then the next minute, you're kind of like thinking, hmm, I'm in a complete funk. And maybe some of you are even really quite fearful and full of anxiety. There's a lot going on, isn't there, really, for us as, us as individuals. And that's not even to mention before we even get to the crazy dreams. Yeah, crazy dreams. Mind you, I'm quite enjoying those. I'm getting together with two of my favourite people. In fact, three of my favourite people. Three of us are going to be talking about different levels of resilience. And my very good friend, Hina, is going to be keeping track of your questions to be able to ask our expert team. So let me tell you what's going to happen. We're going to be broadcasting on Zoom and it's going to be going out across Facebook. And while we're on Facebook, we want your questions. Now, we are looking at three different aspects of resilience. So let me tell you about the team. OK, so this is myself. Let's just not make the assumption that you know who I am. I'm Becky Walsh. I'm the author of your book, You Do Know, Learning to Act on Intuition Instantly, as well as several other published books. Now, I have been going into drama schools and teaching emotional resilience to people, students wanting to go into a career in the media, because, of course, if you want to work in theatre or television or anything like that, any creative arts, you're going to need to have a certain amount of resilience. So that's where I started. That was my background. And then when I went into personal development, it seemed like a no brainer to put the two things together. That went on. And so I started to work in corporate, corporate organisations being able to deliver exactly that same topic in emotional resilience. Well, if there was ever a time that we needed to have a little bit of emotional resilience, I think that time is probably now. But resilience has different aspects of it. And this is why I'm bringing in two very good friends of mine. So first of all, Ashley. Ashley is a yoga teacher and she and I met in, um, I was her teacher actually, and uh, she is a very spiritual person and she's going to be teaching you about spiritual resilience. Oh yeah, yeah. That is such a thing. Mm -hmm. So that's looking at maybe spiritual practice. It might be looking at spiritual mindset. It might be looking at, at this time, how can we go a little bit deeper into our spiritual selves? And then there's Roberta. Now, Roberta, she's brilliant. She's a psychotherapist and she's going to be looking at what's going on inside of your mind for resilience. So we're going to be looking at our resilience of our intellect. So intellectual resilience, the resilience of the mind. So she's going to be looking at how our thoughts can create what's going on around us in terms of our emotions as well. And then for me, I'm teaching emotional resilience. So that might be how your empathy is picking up more things going on around you than the things that are just happening to you personally in a collective consciousness kind of way. So we're going to be discussing those subject matters. Of course, they overlap. And all three of us know different aspects of them. And also Hina, who is going to be taking your questions on Facebook. Um, she's a bit of an expert herself. In, and so we may be pulling her into the conversation as well. But the most important thing for us is that you get your questions answered. And these aren't just abstract questions. I'm very into integral learning and integral learning to me is stuff that you can take. It's information that you can take and apply it to your life right now. You know, no cognitive thinking about it. Here's the tools. Here's how I can use them. And that's what we're going to be providing to you. And so if you think about it, they keep saying we're all in this together. So the chances are, if you're going to ask a question about something in your own life, you're going to be allowing us to answer it for loads of people, if not all of the people who are watching. So we want this to be a conversation, question led, so that the three of us can really get some of the things that are going on for you in your life at the moment, really ironed out so that you've got some practical tools. In addition to that, I have created an online course in emotional resilience, which is going to accompany the webinar rather than the webinar accompanying the course. They're kind of bedfellows. It just works. Um, and you can see the information about that on my website. It's half price to offer at the moment because, you know, let's face it, the last thing you need to be worrying about is money. I'm also doing exactly the same with my one to one consultations as well. 
So head over to beckywalsh.com if you want to check out that course, go onto the courses page. Um, we are going to be doing this event on the 5th of May. In, uh, we're going to be doing it on the 5th of May. All of the details are going to be put as a Facebook event so that you can actually join us on my Facebook page. Um, live with your questions, fielded by the wonderful Hina. And let's see what we can do to really help you at this particular time. You might not need it. You might be happy as Larry, but you might want to just see if there's something of use that you might want to share with somebody else. And please do share this event. Let people know that it's going on, because I think we could just all do with a little bit of emotional resilience at this time. No matter how well you're doing, it's always good to know that you could be doing a little bit better. Room for growth.